aspect of this latest installment are you most enthusiastic about? I had a great vision for this movie, and thankfully, what's so great about the movie is it has a ton of heart, but it also has the spectacle that you want to expect from a big Transformers movie. So I'm really happy with people's reaction to the characters. The characters are really fleshed out, and we've got some great actors right here who really kill it. What element of this movie excited you the most? I think it was creating the Maximals in the Beast Wars. Like, that was, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> We spent a lot of time on our designs, you know, and to be able to like leave a print in a franchise and say, okay, we're taking the Beast Wars, these Maximals that everyone loves, and now bringing them to live action for the first time. So really diving deep into their design, really diving deep into their personalities, and even of course their like ability and traits when they're fighting and their choreography. That's probably my favorite part. <laughs> How was that like for a crash course? I had a two week window to get my license, but I have been <laughs> taking, uh, taking lessons for like a few months, okay. uh, but uh, but yeah, no, I, yeah, I had to, I, had, I went back to New York after we quarantined and then we, for 14 days or whatever, so, and then uh, we, we did a few rehearsals and I went back to New York for like two weeks and I was like, yo, I have this much time to try, so I got like the last appointment at the DMV in Brooklyn <laughs> to get my license and, uh, and I passed in my mom's car, so shout out to my mom. That's All right, right. Mom. I didn't mom. drive one. It was amazing because Anthony and I used to meet before the movie, before we even knew about it, and saying, man, we gotta do something together. We gotta do something real Brooklyn and real epic. And we had no idea that it would be Transformers. So we were very excited. I watched the first movie when I was younger and I watched and said, man, I wanna do something like that. I never thought it would be Transformers. So I always uh, prep myself as when I get into the room, I'm able to like show up. Like I, I care about the craft so much that when the opportunity comes, I'm not gonna play scared. I'm just ready to do it. On the set of the video, I found out that outside of Lincoln Park, I'm the only one to have a hey, come on, <laughs> an original song that's right, that's in the Transformers right. franchise. So I was like, oh wow, that's, that's right. it. it's incredible. It feels immaculate. It feels even more immaculate that I was able to do it. Uh, with this franchise and with one of the top five Dead or Alive nines. So yeah, it was incredible to have both these two worlds meet and to be a part of, uh, you know what I'm saying, two incredible legacies. Ultimately, we have a lot of new characters, new factions. I felt like throughout the years, we've seen a lot of Decepticons. I love Decepticon. I literally call my car Decepticon, you know, <laughs> a personal ride. Um, so we wanted to just do something different. So we're introducing the Terracons, which are new villains. We sprinkle the Predacons throughout, no spoilers. Um, and we have the Autobots and we have the Maximals. At a certain point, it became like, these are some really strong factions. And I want to make sure they got a, the right amount of screen time, you know, uh, the character work. So we didn't want to go too deep. And um, again, Decepticon is something we've seen before. So we just wanted to you know, introduce something new.